فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافاتي وتنهل من روبا الخير I'm giving you a live example of a sister who said more than a decade back someone told me something about alcohol and I researched it and I saw it as a result I ended up giving uh, you know giving up this alcohol and as a result I started studying Islam because they were Muslim and I found that it is a religion that protects your health how does it protect your health through halal she says I never knew what halal was because we were bombarded with this misinformation that halal is actually some form of magic if you are to eat it you suddenly like the Muslims I don't know if you've heard that up to today on the globe, even in the first world countries, they are saying this, that you know, what is halal is actually some form of magic that they, they chant something, you know, some hocus pocus on the animal. And when you eat it, you suddenly love the Muslims and you love Islam. And that's what they were all taught. So they thought, you know, this is something very bad. We stay away from it. And she says, I came to learn that everything that is very healthy for you is called halal. Amazing, amazing. Everything that's healthy for you is called halal. And the minute you take out the health factor and it becomes unhealthy for you, then it would contaminate it perhaps to the degree where it is no longer halal. Obviously, depending on the level of harm. Sometimes people might say, okay, red meat has cholesterol in it, or perhaps it might increase my cholesterol and so on. So why is that not haram? My brothers and sisters, to be honest with you, if it is slaughtered correctly, it will be halal. But at the same time, how you eat it will either be correct or not correct. Not correct meaning you're harming yourself. You cannot just have it every day, you know, half a kilo, one kilo, and you think, okay, it's halal, alhamdulillah. Technically speaking, the food is halal, but the way you're eating it is wrong. We will use the word wrong, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to understand.